This is Hong Kong Blu-rays and today we're looking at The Gambling Ghost. Welcome to HKB, I'm Leon. I'm Shaz. And the release of Gambling Ghost we're looking at today is from CN Entertainment. This is Samo Hung film, directed by Clifton Cole. And it also stars Samo Hung, and it stars Samo Hung. And Samo Hung. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of Samo Hung in this film. So he plays three mm. roles, he plays Grandfather Ghost, and then his dad and son as well. And we have Man Hoi, who is his friend. And um, yeah, basically Man Hoi and Samo, son Samo, they're both like um, a couple of swindlers, is that fair to say? Yeah, they're, that, yeah, they're trying to make money on betting all the time <clears throat> and they're usually ending up coming worse off for it. And there's a bit of... Um, it's sort of a third wheel in that because we have Nina Lee in it as well, don't we? Mm -hmm. And she's kind of on the con as well and gets involved yeah, yeah. with them. Suffice it to say, they get themselves into enough trouble that they need to get some money. Samuel needs to get some money to rescue his friend, Man Hoy. And um, he wants his, his grandfather's ghost to help him out with this. And uh, yeah. Madness and mayhem ensues. Yeah, don't worry too much about the the plot on this. You know, it's um, it's just a, a setup for a lot of fun. Bit bonkers. Yeah, and a lot of action. So, another Samar Hung film you hadn't seen? Mm-hmm. You think of this one, Charles? Yeah, I, I quite enjoyed it actually. Yeah. I thought it the pacing went off a little bit in mm -hmm. the middle, but I did enjoy it on the whole. There were some good action scenes, some quite funny action bits as well, wasn't there? When the, mm. when the granddad ghost got involved and was giving Samo, son Samo, some sort of like superpowers. Yeah. That was quite entertaining. Yeah, yeah. Action wise, you know, and pacing with comedy and whatnot, can't really fault this. Um, there's some good appearances too. You know, we've yes. got Lam Ching Ying in there. Mm -hmm. Doing his Mr. Vampire schlock, which was quite amusing in this one, the way they did it. Uh, I quite like that. That scene yeah. was really, very well put together. I enjoyed mm -hmm. that one. We have James Tian in there, who seems to be popping up in a lot of films we watched lately. Yeah. Um, Chung Fat. Again, you know, mm -hmm. what Samuel stunt team, he always turns up somewhere. And um, Richard Ng. Richard Ng, yeah. He popped up. And our other favourite mustachioed Hong Kong actor. Stanley Fung. So yeah, there's a lot of talent on this and um, it is quite fun, but for me, the plots, there's too much at the beginning of like the humour, a setup for them to lose mm -hmm. the money, yeah? Yeah, a lot of sort of gambling shenanigans at the beginning, which I guess sort of helps set the scene. Yeah, but I felt they overbait that mm. a little bit. Yeah, maybe. Maybe there was a bit too much of it. Yeah, it, it felt like filler to me, you know, like they're trying mm. to fill out the time a little bit. So, well, a bit of gambling jobs, a bit of gambling jobs, bit, and then we'll get onto the stunt work and fights at the end. Like, you know, so it felt like it filled the film to get to that, and mm. then, then you get the goods at the end. Then you get Billy Chow. Yes. Which, as we all know, is makes me climb the sofa regular when Samuel's facing against Billy Chow. And um, I think there's two of the Samuels fights um, Billy Chow in this. And um, yeah, it's a good little scrap. Mm. It's not a pedicab driver. But, but you were happy? I was happy, yeah. I'm always happy to see Samuel, you know, throw down with Billy. It's, uh, you know, two of the Hong Kong greats there. And it, it makes for fun watching, yeah. We were also quite um, pleased to finally see something with Bobby Samuels in it, weren't we? Oh yes! Bobby, man you're cool. I mean, seeing Bobby fight Sam out, oh, man that was blissful. You know, he's, he's, he's got some skills, hasn't he, you know? And um, I'm going to want to see every appearance he's done yeah, now in Hong Kong cinema. Yeah, we'll have to look it up, won't we? 
yeah, he, he makes a good villain in this, doesn't he? You know, and he has a good look to him too, you know? I, I, I like seeing him on camera and uh, yeah, so shout out to Bobby Samuels, were huge fans. And yeah, yeah, he was a lot of fun in this. And uh, yeah, what other notes have you got on this, Shaz? Um, about James Tian, that he, we believe he did his own fighting in this. Yes, because at this period, we're, we're not so familiar with him doing fights. Early on, back in the, you know, the Kung Fu Golden Era, uh, you know, Prodigal Son and Magnificent mm -hmm. Bodyguards and the bits like in Big Boss, we're used to James Tian fighting, as is everybody. But then it seemed to be like when Jackie and Carl took over, that he was like relegated to just being the evil crime boss. Or, right, I see. But not so much mm. fighting, mm. and he does do some fighting in mm. this, and I was quite pleased to see it actually. Uh, you oh, know, good. slightly older James Tian getting in on the action. Yeah, it was nice. So shout out to James Tian. <laughs> yeah, always like that guy. Um, is there anything else you want to add on this one? So there were some like comedic references to Chinese ghost story, weren't there? Yeah, we have Wu Ma turn up, didn't we? There was um, a section in the film where. It's like they visit a film set and they say, no, where's Leslie Chung? Which I thought was quite amusing. Oh, yeah. And um, yeah, we have Wu Ma dressed up as his character, the swordsman from Chinese Ghost Story. And um, there's even the umbrella with the bits missing out of it. And somehow there's a little play on it when he's pretending to be a ghost in the back of a cab to try and get yeah, a free yeah. fur. So yeah, that was quite fun. Like the little nod in the head there. It's always nice when they put these little touches in. So, you know, for me, this was a, a moderately good film. Mm. I mean, I did enjoy it, but not as much as some of the Sam Hung films. So I'm going to give this one 6.5 out of 10. I enjoyed it, so I'm scoring it 7 out of 10. And as for this release from CN Entertainment, there's nothing in the way of extras, really. You get a slipcase cover with it, which is nice. Mm -hmm. You know, always good to get that. Quite an amusing image with like guns pointed at Samuel's head on that. Um, is there any interior artwork on this one, Shaz? Yeah, there's some pictures, yeah. So that's always a bonus when we get that, you know. Yeah. Always nice to have something to look at more than a plain white interior. Um, the sound, the picture, they were adequate, you know. Yeah. Nothing outstanding, but it looked a damn sight better than any DVD version I've seen. And again, subtitles, you know, I see a lot you know, on the social media people moaning about the Hong Kong subtitles. They're never going to be as good as the ones we do over here or in the US, but they were perfectly fine. You yeah. know, you get the odd typo, the odd word wrong, the odd bit of grammatical error. But can we understand what's going on in the film? Yes, we yeah. can. So, yeah, no problems here. So we're pretty happy with this release. We'll leave a link, purchase link to it in the uh, description below. We hope you enjoyed this short and sweet review. Thank you for watching, guys. And uh, hopefully we'll see you next time. So remember, folks, be true and buy the blue.